Our planet was born in fire, then grew with disaster. Yet even then, the elements of life were present. Water was soon present on the surface. When calm, it would provide a sheltered cradle for the first life on Earth. Four and a half billion years ago, the Earth was a very different world. Under layers of thick gaseous clouds was a planet still hot from its birth, with an atmosphere both dense and crushing. The early planet was probably only a tenth of the size that it is today. But it was to grow, and that chance and violent growth would prove crucial to life's history and to what we are today. The early solar system was far more crowded than now. Where today the four inner planets orbit, four and a half billion years ago were scores of smaller planets orbiting the sun. Orbits of some were drawn by gravitational force towards each other. Encounters of awesome magnitude were unavoidable. The force and heat of those collisions melted the rock, but gravity would hold the two together and then weld them into one. With each collision, the planet would grow larger. We believe that of the four innermost planets, Mercury was formed by only one or two such collisions, while Venus, almost the size of Earth, was formed by eight. Mars may have escaped any collisions. But Earth grew largest, perhaps from as many as ten impacts. And the last impact, four and a half billion years ago, would have a profound effect upon our world. giant body crashed into the center of the planet and gave Earth its iron core. The lighter debris was cast off into space and then drawn into orbit around the enlarged planet. For some millions of years, the Earth had rings like the planet Saturn. Smaller collisions continued, and from that debris was born our moon. At the Earth's center is a massive ball of iron, known as the core. An outer core of molten iron swirls around it. Next is the mantle, slow-moving hot rock, 1,800 miles thick. In contrast, the crust, the part we live on, is thin. In fact, it's broken into pieces called plates. 4.6 billion years ago, a continual rain of meteorites pounded the molten Earth. Each strike brought with it more rock, making our planet bigger and scattering metals over the surface. Then, a giant asteroid struck. Its massive iron core didn't stop on the surface. It sank towards the center. And it attracted all the Earth's metals to it as it went. The asteroid's lighter, rocky debris went spinning around the Earth. 
the fragments were drawn together by gravity. Within a year, they formed our moon. That's why the moon has no metal at its core. And it's why metal is rare in the Earth's crust. It arrived much later, in meteorites from outer space. If we want much more metal, we must go to the Earth's core. It's made mostly of iron and nickel, but 1% is gold. That may not sound like much, but the core is so vast that its gold could cover all the land on Earth, knee-deep. I'm <laughs> sorry.